Hello my Tetchy friends, this is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I'm Scrappy and this is World Web Scrapping. There we go! Hello to everyone and welcome to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial on web scrapping using Python. Today we are going to another website that is uh, zoopla.com and we are going to scrap data from this website. So um, this is a UK based uh, website which has uh, listings of properties for rent and for sale and stuff. So uh, you can find the rental properties for living, you can find houses and all there and uh, you can find flats and farms and lands also so that uh, that's uh, what you can do so here i have a search on this website i have searched for properties in london so in london i have searched for these apartments flats and so we are going to scrap all the data related to these listings that we have here so the first thing that we are going to scrap is the price what is the price of the listings then we are going to scrap you see here that we have bedrooms how many bedrooms it has and how many baths it has this reception room we are not going to do because only one of the listings contains this information and rest of the listings does not have this information so there is no point to scrapping that then what we have is uh, we are going to scrap this address what is uh, the address of this property and then we are going to scrap the phone number of the lister so these are things that we are going to scrap today so let's get to the code so as uh, usual we are going to import our standard libraries request and beautiful soup so let's uh, just run this code and then sending get request to this website and so it's uh, pretty easy to scrap this website and try it and it's not that sensitive so uh, to scrapping so let's chances are getting blocked that stuff so then request dot get so sending a get request then checking the status so status should be 200 for a successful request then creating beautiful soup object soup page dot content xml is the parser I'm using and it's uh, usable stuff so the beautiful soup object we created and it will have uh, all of our HTML page and we will have a look it through the HTML page once we just to see that everything is all right and get uh, not getting any JSON data because if you get JSON then we have to proceed in a different way so if we go down we see that uh, we are getting our normal class like normal tag and lie ul div class and everything so it's uh, normally we can scrap data easily here now let's inspect all elements uh, what we want to scrap so let's check where the price is coming so the price is coming in this a tag and in this uh, case a tag it's under hrf and text coming here uh, 2300 and here prices are in euros and it is in pounds two prices are there uh, this a tag is again then coming in this uh, div tag and under this class listings results so i'm going to copy this class and i'm going to go through this class write a for loop onto it and uh, scrap the prices for all of uh, the listings that's uh, what I'm going to do so creating an empty list and for writing a for loop doing it on my beautiful soup object so doing a bs object dot find all and from there going to this div tag and then class just copy that class and passed it here so we will look for this class into the beautiful soup object that i create above and then just doing a dot append 
to append all the prizes into my prize list. So for i in bs object dot find all do and i dot a because our prizes in the a tag. So I'm calling the a tag on my i object that we get here and calling a tag. Then doing a dot text dot stripe. And so this will give me a complete list of the prizes. So guys, that's uh, what we should get. So we got all the complete list of the prizes here and it looks clean, no issues in this one. So the next thing that we want to grab is the number of bedrooms. How many bedrooms are in the particular listing? So let's check where the bedrooms are. So right clicked and on that go to inspect. So the bedrooms are coming in this span tag where the class is a num icon num beds and under this h3 tag class listing results attribute. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do is uh, directly go to the span tag and check this class and from there I'm going to take out several bedrooms. Now I'm not going to this interface class. Why? Because uh, if you see at the bottom again we have uh, this interface class coming again. So that will not be helpful in this case. So I'm just going to a uh, class above this uh, tag span tag. So we will grab the number of bedrooms from there. So let's see the number of bedrooms. Uh, they will be available in all of the listings because that's the basic thing. It should have uh, bedrooms in my apartment. So that is uh, shown in all of my listings. So I don't have any trouble here. All of my listings have bedrooms. So when we will go to the bathrooms, um, then we will see that the bath is not listed in all the listings. So we will have to work around that. So we will see that uh, when going forward, so writing a for loop and creating my bedrooms empty list and writing a for loop then for bed in a beautiful soup object. That find all go into this span tag and the class that I copied from there and just doing a dot append bed dot text dot stripe it's pretty simple then I'm converting it into an integer because I need is a number instead of a text type so for that reason I have put integer here so if I run this I will get all of uh, the bedrooms uh, that are there then bathrooms so in bathrooms we have trouble because if we see here we have a bath available here in this particular listing. So this particular listing has a bath and if we go to the span class num icon num bath we will get the bath here. But if you go down a view listings down we will see in that the bath are not available not shown in all of the listings. So if we go down so you see from here we don't have bath. The bath information is not shown. So it's only bed are shown here. Again we have a bath. So because of that reason wherever the bath is not available I want to get it is that the information is not available. Because if I don't write it the code in my way that wherever bath is not available I get something else instead of that. What will happen it will just uh, because if uh, I write a for loop what it will show on my beautiful soup object is uh, wherever bath is available. If I write a for loop directly as I wrote for bedroom what it will do is uh, it will give me wherever bath is available and leave the rest of the things as it is. So it will not through me any kind of error. So in that case I will be missing the stuff because my length of the bathrooms will not match my list of bath bedrooms and uh, we will not be getting any error also. In that case if I write just a simple statement like this. So for that reason I'm writing a try and accept statement here and wherever the bath info is not available I'm going to write there no info. So that will help us in to keep our length of the list same. So that we have the same listing 
and everything is uh, matched against each other so we don't get stuff mixed up and so for that reason I'm creating my bathrooms empty list here then I'm writing a for loop for BS object dot find all go to h3 tag so we will be going to this h3 tag because ultimately the bath is coming under the h3 tag so we will be going to that h3 tag and then from there write another for loop for this span tag and that we will put into the try and accept block so all of uh, these listings uh, will have this h3 tag but all of them will not have the span tag where the bathrooms are so this statement where we are going to the span tag where bathrooms are we have to put the statement in a try and accept block so that's uh, what I'm going to do so uh, writing a for loop and then writing a try and accept statement so both b dot find all so I wrote here that for b and b is object dot find all so we will get our b element out here then on that b I'm doing again a find all then span tag go to this class which contains the bath and from there I'm taking the zeros index out because that of uh, zeros index will contain our number of bathrooms they are then what I'm doing is uh, when I've got this uh, bath out this element out what I'm doing is again doing a dot text dot strip and converting it into an integer and appending into my bathroom list now this will work fine but when we don't have any information available on bathrooms what happens then I'm writing that if we don't have uh, this thing if we don't have uh, this class available in any of the h3 tags then an error will come so when that error arises just do a dot append no info so that no information available about the bath so that's uh, what it does so let's uh, run that and if you see that uh, we got this so no info that means the bath are not listed then scrapping the address so my address is here and let's uh, just inspect that so we see the address this is coming under this a tag and uh, under this a tag we have uh, this text so we need to grab this text let's see where it will come so we cannot call this uh, because it is not coming inside that we go further up so we have to call this uh, div tag and call this class then from there we have to take this a tag out but uh, be careful that uh, we have uh, this a tag here also so we have to work around this also to get this a tag out so let's see that in code so address and I'm creating an empty list of address and then for that I'm writing again a for loop and doing a dot find all diff go to this class that top class that I showed you then again appending my old stuff into address address dot append I that element that will get out of here then write in again a dot find all onto that find all the a tags and when it find me all that a tags what I'm doing is uh, taking the last a tag out which it will show me a lot of a tags and when I run this code I found that my last a tag is actually the tag that contains my address for that reason I'm taking out the last element so when you do this you have to see like uh, where you are getting it I will show you this just for a second I just remove all of this and I will just show you this here so if I run this and if I don't take the last element out what I will get is something this I'll get a lot of tags here you see so first a tag was containing my prizes second a tags 
contains uh, some other info to bats and something is written there then my third a tag that actually the last a tag so this is the last a tag so minus one I index so this contains my address info so for that reason I'm taking out the last object out so I'm taking out this uh, last object out and then from this I'm taking out the text out and then I'm appending it back to my address list so if I run this I will get a neat and clean address list out here so everything is fine on this then let's uh, go to the phone number so where the phone number is available so the phone number is available in this span tag and it is easy to find we can just go to this a tag and do this class or we can just go to the span tag where a class is agent foam so it's pretty easy just go to the span tag go to this class and do a dot text and get that out and be careful when you will do the dot text you will get these stars also so you see these stars six are coming here so I don't want that so I will do a dot replace to remove those things and uh, let's check that so again creating a phone empty list writing a for loop again on my beautiful soup object go to this span tag go to that class agent phone and do a dot text dot replace to replace their asterisk that I'm getting and do a dot stripe so if I run this I will get the complete list of phone numbers and so guys it's uh, clean and no issues are here so that's how you can scrap this particular website it's really pretty easy to scrap I have uh, not faced any issue in this particular website and so that is all for today my Tachi friends. If you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website. Leave your comments below and ask me any question you have. I will be very happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Tachi.